Today on Hossie's Kitchen, we're gonna make an omelet. Now, why would you wanna make an omelet Hossie's way? Well, it seems like people have a couple problems with omelets. One, they cook them too long and they turn out dry. Two, they come out flat and they're not fluffy. And three, they have trouble getting the omelet out of the pan and sometimes the ingredients spill all over the place. So we're gonna show you an easy way to fix all that. So, my story behind an omelet and why it's kind of special to me is it's the first thing I ever made. I was 12 or 13 years old, I was home, I was watching PBS, and there was a cooking show called The Frugal Gourmet. And he said, anyone can make an omelet, even kids. So I got up and I tried it his way, and the first one turned out bad and I threw it out, the second one turned out perfect. And this is the way I've been making omelets for the last 40 years. Uh, but before I get into what you need to make the omelet, we have our first bit of branding on Hossie's Kitchen. Now Heather, my camera person, my producer extraordinaire, and the person that makes the kitchen look great, her cousin Billy has a 3D printer, and he made me this sweet Hossie's Kitchen sign. So thank you very much, Billy. Um, so now let's move on to what you need. We're going to make a three egg omelet in a 10 inch nonstick pan. Now if you have a 10 inch pan, you could use three or four eggs. If you have a smaller eight inch pan, I would use two or three eggs. If you have a larger 12 inch pan, I'd use at least six eggs because the size of the pan to the amount of eggs matters. If you have too big of a pan and too few eggs, your omelet's gonna to be too thin and dry. If you have too small of a pan and use too many eggs, your omelet's gonna to be too thick and you're not gonna be able to fold it. So let's talk about the ingredients. Aside from the nonstick pan, you're gonna need a bowl and a fork to whip the eggs. You're gonna need some kind of spatula. And as far as the ingredients, we have our three eggs. I'm not gonna talk about what you're gonna fill your omelet with because the reason I love omelets is it's a great way to get rid of leftovers in your fridge. Uh, but for ours, we're gonna have some tomatoes and shredded uh, cheddar cheese, salt, pepper, and some butter. Now let's get cooking. The first step is we're gonna preheat our pan. So I put the pan on the stove. I like somewhere between a medium low and a medium heat. And we're gonna let the pan preheat for about two minutes or so. Now, while the pan's preheating, we're gonna beat our eggs. Now to beat the eggs, the one thing you wanna make sure is we don't have any of that white runny stuff in our omelet. So you need a fork and a bowl and the eggs are in the bowl. So break up the yolks, then you wanna work really hard side to side to break up any of that white runny stuff so it doesn't wind up in your omelet. So we're just gonna make sure these are beaten really well. Okay, the eggs are beaten really well and now we'll add them to the pan. So the pan is hot now, it's been preheating for about two minutes. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter to the pan and wait for it to melt. So we want it fully melted but not starting to brown. So the butter's fully melted now. Let's just swirl it around to make sure we have the whole bottom of the pan covered. And now we're gonna add our eggs. So you're gonna add the eggs. Now, just let it sit for a little while till you see the sides start to cook a little bit. And then I'll show you what to do. So it's been cooking for about 20 seconds and the sides are just starting to cook a little bit. So take your spatula and just move the edges into the middle and let the wet egg fill in the spot that you just moved. So we're gonna get a nice fluffy, you can see the curds starting to form in the center of the omelet now. So just go around all the way, pushing the outsides in, and then let it cook for another 20 seconds or so. That's been about another 20 seconds, now we're gonna do it again. So pull the edges in, just like this, let a, any of the runny egg fill in the outsides. And I like a little bit of a wet omelet, so it's okay if the inside looks a little wet, but there you go. At this point right here, there's still a little bit of wetness in here, but it's almost fully cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our salt and pepper. So a little pinch of salt on the omelet, a little bit of pepper, and now, just on the half away from the handle is where you're gonna add your ingredients. So I'm gonna sprinkle in some sh shredded cheese, just like that, and a few tomatoes, just on that half that's away from the handle. And then I'll show you what to do next. So we're gonna let that sit just for a few seconds, and then I'll show you how to plate it. So, grab the, the pan with your right hand, 
And now all the ingredients are on this side, like that. And what we're going to do, the omelet should slip. If not, just give it a little knock, and it's going to slide right out. Let it catch the pan, and once you reach halfway, just use the pan to flip the other half over. And there you go. There you've got your perfectly cooked omelet. Nice and easy, and it came out of the pan, no problem at all. So I let my omelet sit for about a minute before I'm going to eat it. And now I'm ready to eat. I'm going to have mine with a little extra tomato and some bacon. So that's it for another episode of Hossie's Kitchen. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Hossie's Kitchen.